We continue with part 9 of our Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers. But before I continue, I'd like to mention that pay attention to how we solve the problem of infinite or infinite recursion. Um, they are going to do that maybe in part 10 or something like that, I can't remember. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button right now. And also talk to me if you subscribe and also leave a comment for me. You kind of motivate me to keep making this lesson for you because I do make them for free and I welcome uh, talking with my subscribers and uh, solving your challenges if you have any. So we are going to set up find all and find by ID for all the entities. So the first thing we can do, uh, the procedure is here, the code snippets are there. I can either copy them and paste and I, or I can also write them. So maybe I can, I'll write one and then copy others to paste. So let's start with the user controller so I'm going to go to the user controller. So in the user controller, the first thing I need to do is to um, is to, is to auto wire the service into the controller. So I'll say as auto wire uh, auto wire the service, the user service. So simply create a private member variable of the service type. So private uh, user service, user service, and then write a method that is going to return all the users. You're right. So I'm going to say public get is going to return list of users. Get all users. And it's going to just return user service dot get all users. So user service dot get all users. Although get all users has not been written in user service, we are going to write it. Okay, so control shift over my keyboards. Alright, so at this point I'm going to just uh, put the mouse here and just say create method get all users in user service and it's going to create the stop for this method and simply return Meanwhile before we continue before we do that we are going to auto wire the repository into the service see how it flows auto wire the repository into the service and auto wire the service into the controller so I'm going to say private user repository user repository I'm going to auto wire it by saying as auto wired okay so private user repository user repository okay. perfect so I'm simply going to return user repository dot now we can have methods like find all to select all the users. And so instead of say, writing SQL queries, we already have find all and it's going to return all the users as an iterable. So simply convert it to a list of users by adding this cast to list of users and that will be fine. So we've added for the user controller. Um, I'm going to also go to user controller I'm going to specify the URL uh, pattern that will get to this method because when the user goes to the URL, what we have, will he type in the URL to be able to get a list of users? So what he'll type, you're going to specify it by get mapping and specify that he types slash users to get list of users, right? So when he goes to slash users, he will get list of users and control shift over my keyboard. Save everything and I do control shift O. Why is this having this error? Get mapping annotation name. Um, okay, so So we have, let's see, so we have get mapping. Uh, 
Oh, he should be at get mapping, so let me not make this mistake. So, all right. So if I go to slash users now, I should be able to get the list of users. Let me also do the get the users by ID. So I'm going to say at get mapping. So to get a user by ID, I'm going to go to slash user slash ID. Why it has to be ID is because the ID can change. So you can say user one, user two, and that is why we need to specify it as, as in this way. So say public user get user by ID and specify the ID, uh, sorry, integer ID. This ID is going to come from the path, from the URL. So if it's coming from the URL, it's called the path variable. So you are going to say a path variable. So we are telling um, uh, the controller that this URL, that this ID is going to be extracted from the path variable. I'm simply going to return user service dot find, or let's say dot get user by ID. And, and specify the ID at that point. So at this point, you simply need to uh, pr 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 uh, write this method in the user service. So I'm going to return user service. So I'm going to simply create uh, wait, user service. So so I'm going to create a method in, okay, so, so is user service, I think, yeah, service. So sometimes typo can be a problem. So I'm going to simply create a method in the service. So because the controller is talking to the service, so I'm going to just say return, uh, user repository dots will have find by ID at this time. Find by ID, and you give it the ID, and that's that is pretty good. So just change this thing to optional because in case it doesn't find the user. Meanwhile, let's save everything first. So, in case it doesn't find the user, what does it do? So that is why. We need to change the return type to optional user. Okay, so let's save everything. Let's get to user controller and also this one to be op optional user. Before I do for controller for for the for the location and for the and for the um for the post, I'm going to test it so that we don't run into any problem. So let me save everything. And relaunch this application. At this point, I'm going to go to my browser and say http con slash localhost 8080 slash users. And I'm going to see if I could get list of users. And I'm going to repeat the same thing by saying slash user slash one to see if I can get user one. All right. So all right. So now you can see everything is fast. It's starting uh, in a very short time. Assuming we use a external database like MySQL, uh, it will be taking a whole lot of time. But when we are doing production application, we can use SQL database. But for testing in memory database, I'll, I'll, like, I'll show you later on how to change the configuration to be able to connect to external SQL database. Let's come here at this point and go to HTTP. Actually, um, okay, there will be a problem, but no, 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 we'll solve it later. So let me go to slash slash users. Uh, you can see list of users, right? Good. So we have list of users at this point, and that is fine. So at this point, let's try slash users slash three slash user, not slash users slash user slash three. It returns only one single user corresponding to the ID of three, as you can see. Uh, right here. Let's proceed. At this point, let's now write the one for the controller for the location. So I'm simply going to copy the one for the for the location. Just copy it and paste in the location controller file. So open location controller. 
and just paste it right there. And open the this is location controller, okay? And open the post controller as well and paste the code in there. Okay, so now we've pasted it. Um, this is, but there are two, two methods has to be written in the services. So let's work in case of the post controller, we need to write the same method in the services. So just put your mouse here, uh, save everything first, put your mouse in the find all, and just say create method, find all in the post service. And return post. Uh, before you do that, you need to add, you need to auto wear the repository into this service. So you are going to say private post repository post repository. And then at this point, you can now, can now say post repository that find all. dot find all okay so make it into a list of posts okay so we'll get back to the post controller and do the same thing for find by id so create a method find by id right here in post service so everything is clear just take your time to do it right pause the video try to look at the codes now the codes, the, some of these codes, I actually have not written them. For instance, the code in the post service and in the location service. So I'm writing it right now. So return post repository dot. It should be fine by ID at this time. All right. All right, so I'm going to save everything. Uh, okay, we also have location. We've not worked on location. So open the location controller. At this point, I'm going to close all this. In location controller, we are going to now write the find all in the location service. Remember, controller talks to the service, service talks to the repository. So I'm going to create this method in the location service. And I'm going to come here and say private, private location repository okay so this is what you do and you are going to say at auto wired okay all right so we are now going to call the find all methods of the location repository so you are going to say Location repository dot find all. That is what we are going to uh, say. Okay. So just cast it to a list of location because it returns an iterable. And we do the same thing for find by ID. So just put your mouse here and just say create method find by ID in the location service. And just take out this and just say return location service uh, location repository dot find by id at this time all right so i'm going to save everything hopefully there is no errors anywhere good so we are done now we don't have an instruction that says launch it because i'm not going to launch it now there's a big problem that developers face called infinite recursion problem or stack overflow problem. I'm, I'm going to explain to you what this problem is and how to solve it. That we are going to do in the next part, which is part 10. I'm going to stop here and let's meet in part 10. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I remain kind on the Tech Pro. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And also leave me a comment to let me know if you have some recommendations or if you have any challenges.